I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. Yo, 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 Sue Surf, my man. Before you stick a fork in me, come on, take this walk with me. I gotta holler at you for a second, my nigga. Like, look, like, come, 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 come on, my nigga. Let me talk. Let me talk to you. Yo, did you see what JC was saying to you at the end of his battle with Kid Chaos? Now I know you put out a tweet called "Go fetch me my arrogance," and I'm cool with that. But son, he smoked you. Round and a half. I don't want that. So. Yeah, you get you know if you can if you can like sit sir down for like three years or some shit like that, have them write for me the whole time and then like have them per, like memorize it for like a year straight, not go to the studio, not do no music. I will take surf then, but other than that, I want I want I want niggas like that. Right. I want some niggas that want to kill me too. Is there anybody else? When you, you have say in like mind? that, who you want niggas like? Well, say their name. Um. Shit, oh no shit. Nah, when you just said you want niggas like that, who you was talking to though? Nah, chaos. I, I want niggas like I want you to say his name. 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 Yo, they asked him who did he want to battle, and he said, I don't want to battle Sue Surf. I don't want you now. I don't. He says you sit down for three years, don't write no music, and then maybe you could come talk. Son, you gonna let that you gonna you you gonna let that man talk to you like that, son? Yo, that was crazy. JC just had a good battle versus Kid Chaos. He showed that he was back in his bag. He was ready to wig out, and he had bars on top of bars. And then the first thing they asked him was, "Who did he want to battle?" And he said, "Not you, not you. That's something I will not do. I don't want to battle you, Bruh, Like." I get it that you doing a lot with your career and all of that. I get it. Trust me. But the court where you got your handle from was the battle rap court. That's where you got your name from. I, you know, the music, the, 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 the big shows and the books and the fucking albums. That shit is all good. Trust me. We love to see you grow. Everybody does. When you win, we won. Everybody was posting the album. Uh, I copped the album from you. Everybody wanted to see you do your thing, but dog, <laughs> when you have when you have JC talking about he don't want to battle you, like I don't want to see Surf, like he needs to get it together and sit down for a whole year, bro. That is crazy, man. JC's nice, so. I know a lot of people gave JC flag after the Loso battle. I did too, notably. And that's, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, when it comes to battle rap, I just call like what I see. You know what I mean? Like, I've had battle rappers that had bad performances try to hit me up and try to stop the mailman on the way to the house. And I'm like, nah, it is what it is. If you did bad in the battle, it's the same thing like you see on ESPN or you see on Undisputed. Like if you see Skip and Shannon when they be talking about um, games, if Kawhi Leonard or Paul George most notably disappears down the stretch and goes three for 12 in the fourth quarter and Kawhi's got to carry the team, they talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, the field goal percentage in the third quarter, they bring it up. Fourth quarter, bring it up. Paul George's deficiency, they talk about that stuff. But the NBA players don't get mad, you know what I'm saying? Because it is what it is. They just bring raw stats. When it comes to battle rap, if y'all choke, if y'all show up with a round and a half, or if y'all don't show up with a second or a third, if we talk about it for some reason, y'all get all bent out of shape about it. Not that we really give a fuck, but it's the thing, you know what I'm saying? And you have battlers in their battles, they want to diss you, they want to talk about you, things like that. But it don't fix the fact that y'all ain't fix y'all act. Um, so JC, he was basically like, yo, he want people like rookies, like Kid Chaos, because Kid Chaos is going to fight back. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Kid Chaos did fight back in their battle. I must say, he fought back. To some people, they're going to feel like he got it. But, you know, when you really, really break down every round that I've sketched about, you know, that could potentially be the, the vets tied with the rookies 1-1. Now, I know Sue Surf, you know, he talks his shit. He's going to jump online. He's going to say what he's going to say because he's got a way bigger profile than that of a JC. But, uh... JC in them rounds, like let's not get this shit twisted is all I'm saying. 
when it comes to the raps, what he did today was straight smoke. Like that nigga was wigging all three rounds. Like nobody's gonna take that away from him. And when he's focused like he was today, I don't know what he was on when he battled Loso, and I ain't talking about negatively like no drugs and no shit like that. I'm talking about what type of time he was on. I don't know if he really wanted that. But what he did today, that cleans all of that off the table. Because I'm telling you, the vets was being threatened to go down 0-2. They would have potentially went down 0-2 and then got Easy to block Captain versus Cortez coming up. Who Easy's gonna have a lot of passion, a lot of aggression, a lot of energy. Cortez is a rapper's rapper. Like once you remove the hate and the, the way you feel about his career or him being vaulted on sir, where you once you move all of that out the way, he's a rapper's rapper. And he can really get busy with the bars. And you know, he was going crazy on Surf when the whole thing went on when Surf had loaded Lux on um Noam. He out there popping champagne, he talking cash shit. And I said it in previous blogs, like, Surf, you made it the way it is right now. Like, so go find that man. You got to go find that man. And don't come back until you find that man. You made it the way that these niggas could feel comfortable talking about, talking about you in a negative way. Like, you made it comfortable for him to have the whole world. Like, it was, you know how many people probably was watching this stream? URL has... 300,000 people that followed him on caffeine, right? That's just people who follow. So when an event like this pops up, you know probably about half, about 150, maybe thousand is watching. And he's just basically shitting on your whole brand in front of all of them, like, and then you got all of the battle rappers in the chat, like, yo, what are you gonna do? Like, oh my goodness, sir, you ain't gonna let that nigga talk to you like that. So while you might be blowing up and doing your thing in the real world, in the battle rap world, these niggas is taking haymakers at your name, dog. So if you're gonna come back down down the street and get it in, I mean you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take one of these cats anyway. Whether it be John John, whether it be Cortez, whether it be JC. And um JC, what he did just now versus Kid Chaos, if I was him, I wouldn't even if I was serve, I'd play the Hollywood role and I wouldn't take JC because JC is not gonna play with him at all. He did that versus a rookie who he got, you know, some respect for and wants to see Sean. He don't like you. So if y'all battle, he don't like you. He got no reason to take anything light against you. He's gonna try to he gonna try to send you to the upper room, get you clean the fuck out of here. But um y'all yo, y'all saw it. I, I wasn't the only one that saw it. Y'all saw what he said. It ain't nothing new. Don't act like this is some some out the blue shit. You guys kinda kind and you know that JC had this shit on his mind because they asked him. Who do you want to take? They didn't ask who you don't want. They said, who do you want to take? And the first answer from him was, I know who I don't want. <laughs> when the nigga said he don't, <laughs> the man said, fuck what you talk about, Smack. Fuck what you talk about, Bees. I know y'all talking about who I want. I'm going to tell you who I don't want. That shit is crazy. And Surf is a battler that a lot of people want it, but you can see why a lot of battlers are starting to turn it down like they don't want it because they're like, yo, I'm not going to waste my time with somebody who's not going to be prepared. And this has now become the thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, if he's going to show up against me with a round and a half, then I'm not going to battle him. So, Surf, you might, it's creeping in, dog. It's, it's, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. it's creeping in. JC not playing with you, man. So I don't know where, where that gonna go. But uh, I know one thing. JC came today and JC brought smoke. All three rounds. He definitely was uh, in his bagging tent. And I, and, and I seen you tweet, go fetch my arrogance. One of the lines from Kid Chaos Battle. And I will give Kid Chaos a lot of props and a lot of love. He did do good in his battle. He showed up as a rookie. This is what you expect. You want to see the rookie crossover, Jordan. You know what I'm saying? You want to see... The rookie show that he could make it on the level and that he got the handles and the step back and whatever the case may be. And he showed that. He showed that he's a he's a hell of a writer and he got some smoke. Um, there's more rookies versus vets battles coming up. Um, like I said, Cortez versus Easy the Black Cap is coming up. And a lot of other joints, you know what I'm saying? And I definitely appreciate y'all for staying in tune and watching this content. Me and my guy Showtime SP, we are approaching 60,000 subscribers. Um, that's huge. When I when I first started this, I didn't think that I would get a thousand subscribers to watch this this stuff on YouTube. And now you know 
We're over 25 million views and we're heading and still growing and continuing to learn from each other and um, you know do big things. A lot of people watch the recap with Method Man uh, versus Math Hoffa and we just want to continue doing what we're doing, continuing to stay independent, continuing to keep our own voice and just do what we do, you know what I'm saying? So for the folks that do continue to watch this content and consume it, we appreciate it. Continue to watch. Salute to everybody that copped the merch. The rest of the, a lot of the merch is going to be going out next week. We sent some out last week. And we just continue what we're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Uh, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. And surf. Let me remind that man that when you done watching this, go find that man. And do not come back until you find that man, you know what I'm saying? Get with, get with your getters and set him right, at least on Twitter. I'm gone. Let that nigga talk to you like that. Blah, what a motherfucking caffeine, my nigga? Oh, bruh. See, see, this is why you gotta stop playing around. You gotta stop playing around because you can't have niggas out here talking crazy to you like that. You're supposed to be one of the best out. And you can't have niggas talking to you crazy like that. But with that shit that you put up versus Lux, it leaves the door open for niggas to talk to you like they want to talk. They talk to you any old kind of way now. Niggas talk to you like you a has-been. Or you know, was a was nigga. Nigga was dope. Nigga was getting money to you. Extorted your coat. Was you crazy? Don't let niggas talk to you like that, B. I'm out.